Embo. He is moving, he is fighting your battle, huh? My God, my God, huh? Saebo Kroya Namandoto. Oh, the devil is a liar. The devil has lost the battle this day. Over your life. Kai Mongo Frikaya Mande. O Prifia Buka Brubia Dabakri. Re Saibo Tia Mrukea Bondrasi. Reyavo Krufuya Yamandof Kuchka Bekete. E Prufaya Mangrofo Kowa Ya 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 Ya. It's time to attack the devil, to draw a line in the blood. And tell the devil, devil ain't going under. Ain't going under. You're the one that's gonna go under. You're the one that's gonna be defeated because I am the head, I'm not the tail. Huh? I'm the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Huh? I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Huh? Not by might, nor by power, huh? but by the Holy Ghost, huh? by the anointing which destroys the yoke. Huh? We're taking back huh? what the devil stole from us. Huh? We're taking back huh? everything huh? the devil stole from us. Huh? In Jesus' blood fire name. Because huh? God's people have lost a few things. Huh? Some of God's people have lost self-esteem. Huh? Brofe brofa kache brofa kata. Brofo ko brofa tibondara pakata. Oh, you have lost something in that battle, huh? You have lost something in that fight, huh? Brofa kata pakata. It's time to fight back, huh? In the blood fire name of Jesus, huh? You cannot be just on the defense this day, huh? It's time to get on the offense, huh? Oh man, I see many God's people, they got no clue about spiritual warfare. Woo! Hallelujah! Woo! We're here to declare a season of spiritual warfare because many God's people been attacked, been up under attack. Oh man, it's time to assault hell with gospel demonstration, artillery fire. It's time to assault hell. Don't assault your brother. Don't assault your, see, your neighbor with your gossip and accusations. They're not the ones that are causing you pain. They're not the ones that are causing you suffering. We wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities and powers. Whereof he says, put on the whole armor of God, that we may stand against the evil day, huh? having done all to stand. Oh, shepo, ko, 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 ko. Yeah, he says, put on you know, the belt of truth, and put on the shoes of the preparation. Yes, of the gospel of peace. Let her blow conja. Put on the, 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 the breastplate of righteousness. In this hour, huh, we bring down huh, Diablo. Huh, we delete the handwriting huh, of Diablo huh, by the blood of Jesus Christ, huh, by the righteousness huh, of Jesus Christ. Huh. You cannot overcome that devil huh, by your own righteousness. Huh, but we're here to punish the devil. Huh. We're here to spank the devil huh, by the righteousness huh, of Jesus Christ, huh, the lily of the valley, huh, the bright and the morning star, huh, the I am that which I am. Yeah, that's what the Bible says in 2 Corinthians 5. If you read from 17 and then to 21 in verse 21, it says, we are the righteousness. Huh? You are the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Your own righteousness ain't gonna avail this day. Huh? You need the righteousness of Jesus. Huh? We're here to unleash the righteousness of Jesus huh? because we are saved by faith. Huh? Oh, Pumla, sisters, huh? we are saved by grace. Huh? 
through faith, uh, which we have uh, in the righteousness of Jesus. Uh, and it's not your faith, uh, it's his faith. Uh, oh, Pumla, sisters, uh, what weapons have you been using? Uh, it's time to, you know, to wield the weapons of our warfare. Uh, says the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. In second uh, uh, Corinthians 10, 3 to 4, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but they are mighty through God huh? to the pulling down of strongholds. Mama, so papa, and casting down every imagination. Omlo, sisi, sa, sa, sa. What was in your imagination this day huh? is what was defeating you. Huh? What was in your thoughts this day huh? is what was defeating you. Huh? The devil is fighting you in your thinking, huh? is fighting you in your mind. Huh? That's why you're going to have to put on huh? the helmet of salvation. Huh? You cannot go out there huh? with your head bear. Huh? It's time my friend huh? to put on huh? the helmet of salvation. Huh? It's time to go out there huh? knowing in your mind huh? that you are saved huh? by the righteousness of Jesus. Huh? By the blood of Jesus. Huh? Because they overcame him. Huh? Meaning the devil. Huh? My God that devil ain't a Democrat. Huh? That devil ain't a Republican. Huh? He been lying to you. Huh? He is the prince of the power of the air. Huh? In Ephesians 2 and 2. Huh? That's who he really is. Huh? He masquerades. Huh? In 2 Corinthians 11 huh? and 14. Huh? We're here to cancel the masquerade. Huh? In Jesus' blood fire name. Huh? He's been lying to God's people. Huh? That devil is a spirit enemy. Huh? It's time to put on spiritual calm but uh, it's time to put on the anointing uh, of the Holy Ghost. Uh, the fire of God uh, is against you, Satan. Uh, the blood of Jesus uh, is against you, Satan. Uh, let go of God's people this day. Uh, in Jesus' blood fire name. Uh, in Jesus' blood fire name. Oh, Sayabakasa. It's time to silence that devil. It doesn't matter how he comes. Yeah, he is who he is. He's the father of lies. He's the prince of the power of the air. He operates you all in the air. Are you not surprised that they said that coronavirus was an airborne disease? Oh. Prosika, because even the devil himself is the prince of the power of the air. And then they said it's a waterborne disease. The devil is defeated because it says in Genesis 1 and 26, it says, Let's make man in our image. What matters this day, you all, is your image. Your image is what is under attack. Your identity, huh? your introduction, huh? who you say you are huh? is what matters. Huh? You must say who you are this day. Huh? I am the righteousness of God huh? in Christ Jesus. Huh? That's who I am. Huh? I can do all things. Huh? Through Christ that strengthens me. Huh? Behold, I give you power huh? over all the power of the devil. Huh? In Luke 10 and 19, huh? he has given you power huh? over all the corona nonsense. Huh? He has given you power huh? over all the pandemic. Huh? He has given you power huh? over all the epidemic. Huh? But the problem you was not exercising huh? your dominion huh? because you lost the image of God. Huh? In this hour, huh? he's wanting the image of God huh? to come out of his people. 
people huh, is wanting the image of Jesus of Nazareth huh, to come out of his people. Huh? That's why huh, you're going to have to use the name. Huh? The name that's above every name. Huh? The name that is above coronavirus. Huh? The Spanish for corona is crown. Crown. We're here to, you know, dethrone corona. To uncrown corona in Jesus' blood fire name. Huh? And we ain't just talking about no corona tonight. Huh? My God, God's people have already huh, been up under attack. Huh? My God, huh? God's people have already been up under attack. Because, yeah, he is calling his people. God is calling his people back to their true identity. How have you been describing yourself? Or have you been describing who you are from the outside appearance? The devil is a liar. The devil ain't scared of your height. He ain't scared of where you were born. He ain't scared of your age. He ain't scared of the school you graduated from. He ain't scared of who he was married to or who he was dating online. He ain't scared of you being a Democrat or being a Republican or man, I live in New York or, or man, I live in California or I live in Florida or I live in Kansas or I live in Oklahoma. Or, man, he it, it, it doesn't care you black. He doesn't care you white. He doesn't care. He doesn't care, period. Why do you care for him? I don't care for the devil. I don't care for the devil. Either I kill him or he kills me. Why are you compromising with him? Why are you shucking up with him? You tell him huh, who he is. He is a defeated foe. Because Jesus Christ, uh, the lily of the valley, uh, has stripped him uh, of his power. Uh, when you use the name of Jesus, uh, that devil is living. Uh, that devil is living your household. Uh, that devil is living your county. Uh, that devil is living your city. Uh, when you discover the weapon of our soul, uh, when you discover the name of Jesus, uh, when you discover the word of God, uh, every time Jesus said, uh, it is written, now it is written now it is written now that's what you're gonna say this day huh? don't say the Democrats say now the Republicans say now he doesn't care for them people huh but if you say in the name of Jesus huh, I bust you off huh? in the name of Jesus huh? get out of my family huh? get out of, of my kids huh? get out of my mind huh? get out of huh? get out of my bank account huh? in the name of Jesus huh? Because my God uh, shall supply all my needs uh, according to his riches. Uh, in Christ Jesus, uh, the anointed one uh, and his anointing. Because uh, that devil may come one way, uh, but he's going to flee seven ways. Uh, because greater is he that is in me uh, than the devil that is in the world. Uh, and scared of that devil. Uh, that devil is scared of me. Uh, because I'm coming in the name of the Lord. Uh, we're coming in the name of Jesus. Uh, we're coming in the righteousness of God. Uh, we're coming through the word of God. Uh, we're coming through the Prince of Peace. Yeah. Says I've given you power over all the power of the devil. Over all of it. Over all of it. Over all of it. Oh no, you know what? It was too hard. No, it was it was not too hard. You was not using your authority. You had lost your identity. You was introducing yourself in a wrong manner. You must say in the name of Jesus, I cancel you, devil. I cancel your attack. I cancel your handwriting of death and defeat from my life. I cancel you from my family. In the blood fire name of Jesus. I call the fire of God against you. The blood fire name of Jesus. Oh, see a man day, Lord. Oh, the devil is about to lay, let, let go of somebody. 
is about to let go of all your relationships in the blood fire name of Jesus. In the blood fire name of Jesus. Shopuki Yamasisa. Because the weapons of my warfare huh, are not carnal, huh, but they are mighty through God. Huh, to the pulling down of strongholds huh, and casting down huh, imaginations huh, and every high thing huh, that exhausts itself huh, against the knowledge of God. Huh, even high things like Corona. Huh, what are those high things in your life huh, that are exhorting themselves against the no knowledge of God? In Colossians, Colossians 2, verse 8, very important. It says, beware, beware. It's like a warning, beware. Lest any man spoil you with philosophy, with philosophies of men. Lest any man spoil you with traditions of men and vain deceits after the rudiments of this world and not after Christ. What is your philosophy about? Human philosophy cannot work this day. You're going to have to use the name that's above every name. You cannot defeat that enemy using human philosophy. Mm. And there is a place of common sense. There is a place where psychology and science is important. But you dare not let psychology and science be more important than that, saith the Lord. I know the diagnosis you received wasn't that good. You gotta begin to talk to the diagnosis. Diagnosis, by his stripes I am healed. In Isaiah 53 and verse five, by whose stripes I am healed. In 1 Peter 2 and 24, by whose stripes I was healed. So you gotta tell that diagnosis, get out of here. In Jesus' blood fire name. Get out of here. In Jesus' blood fire name. In Romans 10 and 17, faith comes not but by hearing and hearing by the word of God. So that diagnosis must hear the word of God. All the chaos and the clutter, the hula baloo and the confusion and the commotion and the, 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 the pandemic and the panic must hear the word of God. Must hear the word of God. Must hear the word of God. In Jesus' blood fire name, let my people go that they may worship me in the wilderness, saith the Lord. Let my people go that they may worship me in the wilderness. In Jesus' blood fire name. In Jesus' blood fire name. Says let's make man in our image and let them have dominion over the fowls of the air. We beat Corona. We beat the devil in the air. It says over the fish of the sea, we beat the devil at sea. They say that Corona came out of the sea or something. We beat Corona at sea. He already gave us the weapons to beat Corona in the sea. Yeah, and all by every creeping thing. Oh, it just happened suddenly. He just crept in. I have a message for God's people this day. Because the devil is creeping in suddenly, you are gonna have to beat him suddenly. You're going to have to begin to trust God for sudden victories, uh, sudden triumphs, uh, sudden turnaround. You're going to have to follow after the man of God, Elisha. In 2 Kings 7 verse 1, you can write it down. Very important. You're going to need it tomorrow. Because on blood fire accelerated, prophetic prayer response, update. We try to go by what the Bible has said. There's 24 hour miracles, what we call suddenlies in that book. Second Kings 7 and verse 1. It says, by this time tomorrow, at the gates in Samaria, it says one measure of flour is going to cost, but 
one shekel, which is like 25 cents. And you know, it happened in 24 hours. When the prophetic word goes forth, you know, the devil runs. I'm going to say it one more time. When the prophetic word goes forth, the devil runs. But when, when all you do is backbite and complain and blame everybody, the devil comes and builds, builds his nest in your head. The devil is a liar. We burst off that nest of the devil from God's people tonight. In Jesus' blood fire name. Devil, we command you, let go of God's people tonight. Let go of God's people tonight. Let go of my brother. Let go of my sister. Let go of every man of every, or, and or every woman that is on this line. In Jesus' blood fire name. From New York to NC, to Florida, to yeah, Oklahoma and Texas or Kansas or California, wherever you're logging from. Be thou loosed in your mind. In the blood fire name of Jesus. Because the devil is after your mind. Be thou loosed. Because the weapons of our warfare huh, are no cannon. Huh, but they are mighty through God. Huh, to the pulling down of strongholds. Huh, casting down imaginations. Huh, casting down the lies of the devil. Huh, and every high thing huh, that exhausts itself against the knowledge of God. Oh, somebody tonight, you're going to sleep like a baby. Because you are washed in the blood. But I discovered you all being washed in the blood ain't enough. My God, you gotta be washed in the blood, and you gotta be on fire for God. That's why we celebrate Passover. We already celebrated Passover. How come you just celebrated Passover and you you are depressed? Huh? The devil is a liar because it takes the fire of God to apply Passover. Ah. Hello, somebody. Woo! Jesus died only once and he rose from the dead only once. <sighs> and we received the Holy Ghost 50 days after Passover. The fire of God hit home. Yes, in the church, when the church was born, when he came on the 120 apostles, he has not left ever since. So we celebrated Passover. What you need is a reenact Passover huh? daily by the Holy Ghost. Remind the devil by the fire of God. I'm washed in the blood. I'm washed in the blood. Devil, that blood is against you. Devil, that blood is against you. Devil, I resist you in the blood. I resist you in the blood. I resist you by the fire of God. I resist you by the fire of God. Because you cannot be casual. You cannot be nice to the devil. He ain't your cousin. He ain't your uncle. You gotta kill him or else you, he's wanting to kill you. Yeah, that's why some of us, we shout a little bit. Huh. Yeah. God is not looking for too much for a cool church. We so cool until Corona begins to control and rule over us. Some of us, a few months ago, before Corona hit home in the church, we began to prophesy, get ready, church. Something is about to happen. We began to prophesy, some of us, a few months ago. Began to make noise. Get ready. God just told me. Difficult times, difficult times coming. On the 30th of January, he showed me that. I sent some texts to some people of God to that effect. When he spoke to me during that visitation, I hit the floor. I was so shook up. It was so real, you all. I didn't have to hear from CNN or Fox News about what's going on right now. He already told me. He already told some of us his prophets. He says pestilences were coming. It says economies were going to be shaken. Stock markets were going to be shook up. He talked about the emergency of the beast was coming. 
on the scene, on the world scene. What's going on is just a revision to some of us. It's just the faithfulness of God. Because God cannot do nothing huh, until first he reveals it huh, to his servants, the prophets. Huh. That's why huh, God's people huh, are a prophetic people. Huh. The reason he reveals it to his servants, the prophets, huh, because a true prophet huh, is an intercessor. Huh. So we can begin to tell that, uh, that devil, devil, you, you just not going to go beyond that, beyond this. This is all you can do. If the church had already been ruptured, the coronavirus would kill everybody in town. The reason it's not killing everybody in town is because of you and me. That's why when God's people don't have a voice, some of us begin to speak up. Hello, somebody. Why are you not speaking up? Get out of that cage. Get out of that fear. Get over it. Tell the devil, devil, game over. Ain't dying. Ain't going under. You the one going under. Ain't waiting for the undertaker. I'm waiting for the upper taker. Yeah? Hello, Samba. Get the devil out of your house. Running him down. Get him out of your town. Get him out of the United States. Get him out of your software. Get the devil out. Get the devil out of the neighborhood. Because he says, I've given you, God says, I've given you power over all the power of coronavirus. I've given you power. You shall lay hands on the sick, and they're going to recover. And then he says, go into all the world. Huh? I'm preaching the gospel to every creature. I'm praying for the church. Huh? When we go back to our church buildings, huh? let's begin to take neighborhoods huh? for Jesus Christ. Huh? Let's begin to tell them about Jesus is coming. Huh? Let's begin to tell them about Jesus is Lord. Huh? Let's begin to tell them about the fear of God. Huh? Let's begin to tell them about the kingdom of God huh? is at hand. Huh? Let's begin to tell them repent huh? for the kingdom of God. Huh? is at hand huh? in Matthew 4 and 17. That's what some of us do daily. We tell everybody wherever we go, we're not scared. Not scared of anybody. We go out there and tell them, hey, Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. Jesus is Lord. Repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Come out from among them. Be thou separated. Come out of Sodom. Because he's going to destroy the city. It's time to get into the ark. Get into the ark. And put your act together. Because the days of reckoning are here. This is a good time, you all, to tell people what's going on is a preparation of the things to come. What's going on is introduction. It's just a drill. There's more coming. It says in the world you shall face tribulation. Be of good cheer. Huh? I have overcome the world. But when it gets really, really tough, he's going to get his people out of here. Hey, how did you read that scripture you all? He says in first, first Corinthians 15 and 52, at the last trump, I don't know whether it's referencing the president, not in a bad manner, definitely. That sounds like in a good manner. I, I ain't saying nothing. Because some people are going to begin to say, oh, maybe it's the last president. I don't know. I didn't say that. I'm just quoting the Bible. He says at the last trump, I'm not one of those that give political prophecies, just so you know. I preached a few years ago. I just preached a word. It says, at the last trump, the dead in Christ shall be raised first. 
and us who are alive are going to be quickened and we're going to be caught up in the air. So are we forever going to be with the Lord? Hello, Samba. Because to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. And we're praying right now in Jesus' name huh? for the land of the United States, huh? for the president of the United States, huh? even President Trump, huh? and he's a vice president. Huh? We're praying for the Senate. Huh? We're praying for Congress. Huh? We're praying, oh God, huh? for every politician huh? on Capitol Hill, huh? for every governor, huh? for every mayor huh? in the United States, huh? that you cover them huh? with the blood of Jesus, huh? that whatever decision they're going to make this day. Huh? May it go through the blood. Huh? In Jesus' name, huh? we're praying for everybody, huh? every politician, huh? on the left and on the right, huh? in the blood fire name of Jesus, huh? that whatever they're going to say this day, huh? let it go through the blood. Huh? Let it go through the fire, oh God. Huh? We take authority huh? and dominion huh? over coronavirus huh? in the blood fire name huh? of Jesus Christ. Huh? We break down uh, that pandemic uh, in the blood fire name uh, of Jesus Christ. Uh, we limit that pandemic uh, in the blood fire name uh, of Jesus Christ. Uh, and we pray uh, that man is going to be saved uh, this day uh, in the blood fire name uh, of Jesus Christ. Uh, we pray, God, uh, that after this is over, uh, men are going to be born again, uh, that there's going to be a move of God. Huh? Like never before, God. Huh? In Jesus' name. Because where sin did abound, the grace of God is going to abound the more. Instead of just criticizing everybody, we pray for everybody to be covered by the blood. In the blood fire name of Jesus. In the blood fire name of Jesus. In the blood fire name of Jesus. Shomunga Yesi. For Fuyam Lost say. So have mercy God over this republic of the United States. In Jesus' name. Give wisdom, Moga. Siploka Sisa. Seleboka. To every leader in every department. In Jesus' blood fire name. In Jesus' blood fire name. Dias. And that together we're going to beat this situation, this crisis, the pandemic, whatever they call it, in Jesus' blood fire name. And that every man and every woman is going to begin to fear the name of the Lord. It's going to begin to bow before the name of the Lord. We unleash the fear of God over this land of the United States. In Jesus' blood fire name. From city to city, oh God. And from state to state, oh God. Oh, now me anje bo ko shia bada. Me anje bo ko 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 ko. Ela siya namaka. Because he says, I've given you power over all the power of the devil. It's not time to back off you all. It's time to resist that devil and he's going to flee from you. In the blood fire name of Jesus. Uh, it's time to be full of the word of God. Uh, and full of the anointing which destroys the York. Begin to say, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. We decree and declare this day. Over every family that is represented on this line. That no weapon formed against you and your household shall prosper this day. In Jesus' blood fire name. In Jesus' blood fire name. Babu de Broca de Boko Tandibo. Receive. Receive this day of breakthrough. Huh? From head to toe. Huh? Inside out. Huh? In Jesus' blood fire name. Huh? May God touch your family this day. Huh? May that spirit of fear huh? because of coronavirus huh? be busted off this day. Huh? In Jesus' blood fire name. Huh? We step on the devil this day. Huh? In Jesus' blood fire name this day. Oh, you're going to win. You're going to live and not die. And declare thus, saith the Lord, 
Mama, mama, mama. Osi bloka si kaka. Nabla si kebla si. Omlonde si aba. Oh, because that devil may come one way, huh? He's gonna flee seven way. Oh, puma di boka ki abula. Because greater is he that is in you, huh? Than the devil will sing the way. Be made whole this day. Be set free this day from confusion and condemnation. In the blood fire name of Jesus. The handwriting of Diablo be busted off this day from God's people. Ah, in the blood fire name of Jesus. That spirit of defeat be busted off from God's people tonight. In the blood fire name of Jesus. The boy ashi. Oh, man. Kibla Sidobo Tiba, oh man, Dandibon Dideba Sisa, O Pukika Sise, O Pe Iamanga. It's time to step on that devil, huh? It's time to step on that devil, huh? It's time to step on that devil, huh? Step on him, huh? Step on him, huh? Oh, Sidi Bakasa. Woo! Woo! I dare if anybody on this line is standing up. If you can begin to, you know what I mean, step on him. Sometimes it's good to, to pray in a de demonstrative manner. And that's why we run gospel demonstrations. You know, we demonstrate the gospel. The gospel is not in word only, you all. The gospel is in power. After this corona, you all go demonstrate the gospel. The only true gospel, you all, is the gospel of power. If you remove power from the gospel, ain't gospel. If you remove good news from the gospel, ain't gospel. If you remove miracles, signs, and wonders from gospel, ain't gospel. It's just grandma's tales, the story. Forget about it. How come as church people we didn't predict what what was what was happening? How come at the beginning of 2020, many prophets, I saw them on some of these networks. That's why I don't listen to all of them all the time. On one after the other, prophesying about 2020, I was like, only one was right on. But he told some of us at the beginning of 2020, some things was going to happen in 2020 that was going to cause God's people to pray like never before. 